In this video, we're going to learn about comments in Python. So comments are annotations that we add to our source code in order to help explain the source code and make our code more readable. So oftentimes programs are written by a team of people over a period of time, and the program may become very large and complicated in some cases. Sometimes it can be difficult to understand why some code was written the way it was or what the code is doing. A comment allows us to describe what's going on in the code to make it easier for other people to read and understand. And we say that this improves the readability of the code. Sometimes when we write a program and then try to understand that program a few months later, it's actually hard to understand what we were thinking when we wrote the code. So comments can even be helpful when we're working on a program alone. Here we have a simple program that calculates and outputs a speed for a specific distance and time. Let's actually document this program with comments. So up here, we'll make our first comment with number sign, and then anything after the number sign is going to be a comment. It's not going to be executed as code. It's going to be documentation of our code. So we could say here, set distance to 200. And the idea here is this Python comment is documenting this statement here by describing what's happening in the statement to make it easier to read. Now, a statement like this is actually already pretty easy to read. Even if you're not a Python programmer, you probably could have guessed what the statement was going to do. So typically speaking, we try to save our comments for situations where our code is more difficult to understand. Maybe the code is complex, or maybe the code is very large. If we have too many simple comments in our Python code, it can actually decrease the readability of our code by adding too much clutter to the code. Now, a comment doesn't have to go at the very start of a line. We can have what's called an inline comment. So for example, here I could have number sign and then set time to 40. And this is also a valid comment. This here will still be executed as a regular Python statement, but we can have this comment here at the end documenting this code here. And this is also valid. And typically speaking, we call that an inline comment. Now, Python doesn't officially support multi-line comments. Some languages provide an explicit way of creating a comment across multiple lines. In Python, we can do it in a couple ways. One way we can do it is just to have multiple number sign characters, one on each line. So for example, we could say, calculate the speed by dividing the distance by the time. And here we have a multi-line comment and all we've done is put a number sign character at the start of each line. And that's one way to do it. Another way to have multi-line comments in Python is by using a multi-line string. So strings are how we represent text information in Python. Here, speed in these double quotation marks is what's called a string. Python also supports something called a multi-line string, where a multi-line string allows us to write a string across multiple lines. Now, normally we use the strings in some productive way in our program. Like for example, how we use the string speed colon with that print function down there. But we don't have to. If we just have a string in the middle of our program, it's not going to affect how our program executes in any way. And we could use it to then document our code. So for example, to have a multi-line string, we could just have double quotation mark, double quotation mark, double quotation mark, and then below this text here, we would then have double quotation mark, double quotation mark, and double quotation mark. And this would do it. This would give us a multi-line string that documents our code. And even though it's technically code, it's not going to affect what a program is going to do, effectively making it a comment. Now we can also make multi-line strings using single quotation marks. So for example, we could have single quotation mark, single quotation mark, and single quotation mark. And then up here, we could have single quotation mark, single quotation mark, and single quotation mark. And this will also give us a multi-line string that we can use as a comment. In Python, there is a concept called a doc string that is typically used to document the different parts of larger programs in a specific way. Strings and multi-line strings are used to create these doc strings. And I'll cover doc strings in a future video because it's really its own topic. So one other helpful way we can use comments is to temporarily remove or replace sections of code 
in order to try out something else. So for example, down here, we're printing out the speed like this. We're using what's called the print function to output information to the user. And the print function has two arguments. The first argument is this here, the string speed colon. So the print function is gonna output the text speed colon. The second argument is the actual speed value itself that we calculated here. So we're gonna output that after speed colon by using this print function. So we could save our program and test it out. So over here, we're going to run our Python program and we'll get a speed of 5.0. Now, maybe we're not happy with the way that printed out. Maybe instead of a colon, we wanna try out something else like an arrow. What we could do is temporarily comment out this code and then replace it with something else. So for example, we could put a number sign character in front of the statement here, and we would say that the code has been commented out. Then we could replace it with something else. So we could have print, and then we'll have speed only this time followed by an arrow. And again, we'll have the speed value as the second argument to this print function. And we can save this and then try our program out again. Now, if we don't like this change, we've kept the old code as a comment. So we could just delete this and then uncomment this code here. So now the code is back to being regular Python code instead of being inside a comment. So we could save our program again and try it out. And now it's working the same as it was before. So this technique of commenting out code allows us to quickly and informally test different approaches in our code without losing the code that we've already written. So this technique is actually used by many developers. So this is how we can use comments in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.